Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and from the Frederick Health Hospital. Today, we're going to be talking about a case of CTO-PCI of the RCA, where everything just kind of clicked. The patient is a 60-year-old male smoker uh, with hypertension, diabetes, and coronary disease. He uh, received the cabbage about 12 years ago, uh, but all grafts are now either occluded or atretic. Uh, he did receive complex PCA of the left main LED and diagonal about two years ago, uh, but despite the escalating doses of multiple antianginal medications, uh, he has continued to have a significant angina. He underwent uh, nuclear stress testing, uh, which showed a large area of inferior ischemia, and echo showed a normal ejection fraction uh, with mild uh, inferior hypokinesis. Uh, he underwent a cath, uh, which showed patent stents, uh, and a CTO of the RCA. Uh, he was referred uh, for PCI of the RCA CTO. Now, as with uh, most CTO interventions, uh, we did the simultaneous uh, injections in both the anterograde direction uh, via the RCA and in the retrograde direction uh, via the left main. Uh, we see a, a severely diseased RCA system with a relatively long CTO. Uh, the location of the start of the CTO, or the proximal cap, uh, is a bit ambiguous. Uh, there was uh, no significant calcification in the RCA. Uh, there is also no obvious angulation or tortuosity, although uh, you can't be sure about the actual path of the occluded segment uh, without a CT, uh, which actually was not done here. So sometimes getting a coronary CT uh, before CTO PCI is useful uh, for this reason. In the uh, contralateral view, uh, we see that there are several reasonable uh, septal uh, interventional collaterals uh, that could be used. Um, so our plan uh, was to first start out uh, with a, a regular uh, anti-grade wiring strategy and then switch over to retrograde uh, if uh, that fails. Uh, we do typically start with anti-grade uh, in nearly all CTO PCI cases, uh, since you never know if, if uh, you might just get lucky and cross. Um, now for this case, uh, anti-grade dissection reentry uh, was thought to be less ideal. Um, the potential reentry zone uh, was reasonably long, but the small caliber of the distal vessel uh, made uh, the target uh, small. So uh, we got to work. Uh, we used uh, dual eight French guides uh, and uh, started with a Pilot 200 wire uh, via a uh, turnpike uh, microcatheter. Uh, the uh, Pilot 200 uh, did not make it very far uh, before dissecting the vessel and um, ending up in the uh, subintimal space. Um, uh, this uh, wasn't uh, particularly surprising uh, given the amount of disease uh, in the RCA. Uh, we did uh, leave the wire in place, uh, both uh, to be used as a marker uh, for the retrograde wire and then for also possible uh, reverse cart uh, later on. So uh, we uh, switched over uh, to retrograde. Uh, we used a workhorse BMW wire uh, to engage the septal branch uh, via a turnpike LP uh, microcatheter. Uh, we then uh, switched out uh, to a Sion wire. Uh, we started uh, septal surfing with the Sion and on the very first septal uh, that we selected, uh, the Sion uh, quickly crossed into the PDA and then quickly up into the distal RCA. The uh, Sion then readily tracked into the proximal RCA, but uh, we could tell uh, by the way it was wrapping uh, that uh, it was also in the submintal space. It had dissected as well in the retrograde direction. The, uh, we left it there. Uh, the uh, Turnpike LP microcatheter then uh, tracked uh, fairly easily uh, with just a little bit of torquing uh, to get it uh, to turn into the PDA uh, from the septal collateral. Uh, after that, we were able to get the Turnpike LP fairly easily up into the mid-RCA and use it to switch out the Sion wire uh, to a Pilot 200. Uh, we did a reverse cart uh, in the proximal RCA with a 3.0 millimeter balloon, and after just a single inflation of the balloon, uh, we were able to get the retrograde pilot 200 wire to cross into the anti-grade guide. Uh, this often can be a struggle, uh, but this time it actually went in on the very first try. The uh, turnpike LP then followed into the anti-grade guide uh, where we trapped it uh, with an anti-grade balloon in the guide and exchanged the uh, Pilot 200 to an RG3 wire uh, for uh, externalization. 
Um, an accidental conscious injection here uh, demonstrated uh, the intentional dissection uh, in the proximal RCA. Um, this uh, is a bit of an oopsie, as an anti-grade injection at this point uh, can hydraulically uh, propagate the, direction, uh, the dissection. Uh, thankfully, uh, that was not the case uh, here. PCI then uh, proceeded uneventfully uh, over the externalized RG3 wire. Uh, now remember that the amount of force uh, that can be generated uh, across the heart uh, with an externalized wire can be quite significant and cause uh, substantial injury. So note that we uh, intentionally pull the uh, retrograde guide back into the aorta uh, to uh, protect uh, the left main and the uh, turnpike LP uh, was pulled back to allow stenting, but was purposely left across the collateral uh, to prevent the septal injury uh, from a cheese slicer effect that can happen uh, with the force on the externalized wire. So we obtained a, a reasonable result after laying down two stents uh, from the proximal uh, to mid RCA. We always uh, inject the donor vessel uh, to confirm no injury. In this case, the left main and the LED were both fine. Uh, there is a bit of injury uh, to the septal collaterals, uh, but uh, the sections and, and even perforations uh, in the uh, septals are usually uh, fairly benign. And so the final angiographic outcome uh, was uh, quite uh, satisfactory. Uh, the distal RCA is uh, small, uh, but uh, with restored flow, uh, the vessel will often uh, remodel and uh, plump up with time. Uh, the uh, patient did very well. Uh, his anti angelo medications were stopped uh, on hospital discharge. And at the one month office visit, he had stopped smoking, uh, started an exercise program, and uh, was completely free of angina. Okay, uh, take home messages. Um, before all CTO PCIs, uh, always analyze the angiogram carefully and uh, plan your uh, strategy uh, ahead of time. Uh, CTO PCIs are often long, they can be difficult, and they definitely can be physically and uh, mentally uh, draining. So it is always helpful uh, to have a plan A, a plan B, and even a plan C uh, in your head uh, ahead of time. Um, during the case, uh, be flexible in switching between uh, different uh, CTO PCL approaches. Uh, this is the core principle of the so-called hybrid algorithm. Other technical points uh, that uh, were raised in this case, uh, be careful of uh, anti-grid injections uh, that can enlarge uh, your dissection plane. Uh, these uh, should be avoided. And during PCI over the externalized wire, uh, disengage the retrograde guide whenever possible uh, to prevent donor vessel injury and keep your microcatheter over your collateral uh, to prevent uh, cheese slicer effect injury. CTO PCS can be quite challenging, uh, but as uh, this case illustrates, uh, sometimes uh, when you plan things well and everything happens to click, you might make them even seem straightforward. Thank you for watching.